So as soon as you hit the brakes, you can see a warning sign indicating that motor cutoff has been done. See? It's the warning sign right there. If you release it, then it will clear up. Brake. Done. Good day and good afternoon everyone. So in our previous restoration project, during our e-bike conversion to our road bike, we were not able to use this uh, brake electric brake calipers as it wouldn't fit with the road bike. But the time I was testing it, it really needs uh, brake sensors for it to function nicely. So for today's video, we'll just update our road bike conversion project and we will use this brake lever calipers and install it in our road bike. So we will be using these brake calipers, electric brake levers that was included in our conversion kit and hopefully we can install it and it would function as it is in our road bike uh, restoration project. So stick around so first let's try to check what is the polarity or the continuity for this uh, brake lever so let us check this one by using the multi-tester and put it in the continuity test here so as the probes are shortened out a beeping sound indicates that it is shorted or it is continuous so as the brake lever is in a closed position such as this one let's check on the continuity so the only thing that is functioning pin for this uh, connector is this one and on the middle this one if you're going to test it here there's no beeping sound so meaning uh, this uh, sensor or acting as a switch is normally open so if we release this one just like that the sensor here shorted uh, shortens out thus activating the sensor so this is here Okay, just like that, we heard the beeping sound again. So meaning that if the uh, brake lever is triggered, it becomes a closed switch. So just like activating the switch. So every time the brake lever is pulled out, this one shorted, short, shorted out thus cuts off the power to the motor so let's try to remove this one and see what is the inside of this uh, brake lever So this one is just like a push button switch that when it's push it becomes normally open when release it now becomes a closed circuit or a closed switch thus activating this one to the controller so let us try to use this one and install it on the road bike Okay, so let's have this done. So for this brake sensor to work, I have to find a way somewhere in the brakes that could function as an on and off switch, just like this one. 
So for this, I have found this location here, just right below the calipers. Here. So as the brakes are turned or uh, pulled down, so this one's open and close again. So I just needed something to hold somewhere here on the brake shoe to activate this one. So for this, I found something really interesting which is uh, this one. So this one came from uh, uh, signal light uh, from the refractor lights of one of my folding bike so we'll try to use this one here and mount so we'll try to use this one to mount it somewhere here or maybe we can drill a hole here and put this one inside okay so let's try this one Okay. Hope we could flush it down a little bit more. Okay, so this will now be the final position of the switch. And we will be installing this on the calic. So installing this uh, this way just like that okay so as soon as the brake is engaged this one will be open and close okay so we'll just put some paint before installing it to the caliper Doing it on the other side and the rear brakes. So we have finally connected everything, including the cables here. So this is how it works. Let's take a closer look. So as soon as the brake levers are uh, used, it will make the circuit close, thus cutting off power to the motor. Okay. So this is now the final setup of the brake levers here. As we try to turn it on, as 
So as soon as you hit the brakes, you can see a warning sign indicating that motor cutoff has been done. See? It's the warning sign right there. If you release it, then it will clear up. Brake. Done. So that's all for today. And if you think that this video is helpful for you, just give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. See you in the next one. If you like videos like this, kindly hit that subscribe button below and follow my channel.